Show and tell today. Yay, so excited to do show and tell. Well, CS, everybody. Good morning. I hope you're having a fabulous, wonderful day. Actually, bless the day. And get up, grab your Bibles. Let's get to this morning with a positive vibe and mind and have a smile on your face. Be grateful for everything. I know that with COVID, it's making everybody feeling emotional, stressed, sad, angry, mad, every feeling of the book, you name it. Everybody goes through rough patches, a roller coaster, whatever. I myself, I have been going through a lot lately. Um, my dad's been recently diagnosed with a tumor in his spinal cord, and he got the MRI check to just check it out. And then they wanted to take the tumor out, and they did surgery in January. And in January, that's where we found out that that tumor turned out to be cancerous. It's cancer, and they weren't able to take all the tumor out. They left half of the tumor in the spinal cord. They test that tumor, and it is cancerous. And the cancer, the type of cancer my dad has is very rare, and it's called impen ependinoma or something like that yeah ependinoma that's what the cancer is called it is that stage two it's not aggressive cancer and as of yesterday my dad recently went for his first treatment his first round of treatment he is doing radiation uh for the first round of the radiation of yesterday he stopped by and he was feeling good. Of course, people who do radiation, they end up getting sick. That's what I heard. And in that case, my dad wasn't feeling any symptoms after the radiation. And he goes for five days, which is Monday through Friday. And he gets a break Saturday, Sunday, and then gets back to the treatments Monday through Friday, so on and so forth. Um, I haven't gone back to work yet at Home Goods, so I'm finger crossed. I'm hoping to go back very soon. I miss all my coworkers, my managers. Um, I just miss Home Goods. That's like my second home to be at, and I love everything at Home Goods. So, yeah, let me get back to you guys, and that way I can be a mom to, to take care of my two little ones. Okay, I'm here back with my daughter doing her virtual online schooling. Uh, she's currently on class kick side doing some activities before she logs out of her classes. This is an exit ticket on class kick. Um, it's very fun activities that she does when she exit out of her classes. All right, well, I'll be back shortly. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry I had cut short in my video. I had to attend to my little ones. I have two toddlers and a teenager. <laughs> mom life, right? <laughs> yes, definitely mom life. Um, like I mentioned, I am a mom of three kids and I have 
two toddlers and a teenager, of course, I just mentioned, and she is 14 years old, and my two toddlers is a four and a five. So, yeah, um, they keep me going, um, they keep me really busy. I haven't returned back to work at Home Goods yet, but it's the process of me going back to work, um, still in processing. Um, I was down for COVID. Um, let's see, my husband and I were tested for COVID. Uh, we were tested positive, plus my son. Um, it was scary to hear that we have a positive result having COVID. My two girls, they were fine. They had a negative result and we were home for two weeks. And then we extended our two weeks, even the two weeks lifted and we can go anywhere. Um, we wanted to stay another week home um, just to play it safe. And then uh, we lifted it ourselves. And so my husband was given the okay to go back to work. So he has returned back to work. I myself, I haven't returned to work yet because we're waiting how um, these radiation uh, treatments go with my dad. Um, he went on his first round of radiation treatment as of yesterday. Uh, today, he went on his second round of radiation. He goes for radiation treatments uh, Monday through Friday and then give him Saturday, Sundays off with no radiation. Then it's another routine every week and it's still going to be Monday through Friday and Saturday, Sundays off. So it's going to be like that for all the weeks he goes in for treatments. So um, he hasn't been feeling any symptoms uh, um, from the radiation yet. And we're thinking maybe within the fourth day, he should feel, feel some symptoms from the radiation. But we're not quite sure how long it takes to start feeling the the effects from the radiation because i know um from what i heard that when you get radiation done you start feeling sick after the radiation but i just don't know like how many days do you start feeling the, the effect um being sick um but right now he's feeling good he feels great he's not feeling sick um he's um, he relaxes and he gets comfortable, watch TV, talks to you. Um, he's been, uh, video chat me, um, <laughs> every morning and every day, basically. Um, just until we come over, I guess, because he gets bored and he wants to talk to us and, even though like on Fridays, we make our trips over there to go visit for a while. And let me clarify this before anybody says anything about us having COVID, but we did get retested for COVID and we got our results last weekend, Saturday or Sunday, and our results came negative. So we're okay. We are fine to go out and back to work my husband he already got the okay to go back to work we're doing good we're strong and we're blessed that we're alive we're blessed that we have beat COVID's butt um i know some people have had it and they're having it worsen and that some people are in the hospital some people are in ventilators some people are have already passed away from COVID and I know there's families that have lost their loved ones from COVID and my hearts all go out to you that who've lost their loved ones due to COVID. Um, my prayers and condolences go all out to you. I just, this COVID is no joke people. Like wear your mask, please. Sanitize your hands always every day. Wash your hands if you're, can if you're nearby a sink and soap 
make sure you wash your hands full thoroughly twice i must say wash your hands twice okay i know you can, you only wash your hands once when you go bathroom or whatever okay um i when i wash dishes i i still have soap and water and it's still washed anyways so my hands are washed but when i get done washing dishes i wash them again and then when i use the restroom i wash it after using the restroom and then um i relax and spend my time with my kids and husband but like i said always sanitize your hands day in day out okay sanitize them really good um lather them if you must uh, if you have too much give some to your loved ones um and give them a little extra if they don't you know need a little bit more anyways and then wash your hands thoroughly with warm water and soap really good soap that has like a antibacterial of soap because that's what the ones that we have and we've been using and then um or if not washing with lukewarm water wash it with hot water um you can use either or warm or hot i prefer both i just do it both ways and always sanitize your house everywhere like like spray all over your area living room um dining room the kids rooms the bathrooms your room and then always sanitize your wooden floors. If you have wooden floors, sanitize them, mop it. The walls and doors and doorknobs that you have in your house, also sanitize everything. The whole house wants to be sanitized, okay? So that's a plus because that's what we've done when we were down for two weeks of quarantine um, because of COVID. So yeah, so this is why we made it and we beat it. So make sure you do that. If you just recently got diagnosed with COVID, you just recently got it, um, do that right away, guys. Like I recommend it because you would definitely feel better and good, uh, you know, that you sanitize everything or disinfect everything too. Um, also, limes help you too with COVID. Um, make sure you you eat the limes. You suck out the juices, or you can use them on your food too, your soups, everything. Just make sure you have your limes with you, okay? Um, I've been sucking out of the limes when I was down for COVID. Um, we had to buy two packs, uh, those bags, whatever, because uh, <clears throat> I would have limes because I would feel nauseous, nausea and um it would always help me with the nausea i had lost my taste and smell yeah i had lost my taste and smell or sense of smell and it was horrible guys like when you lose your sense of smell and your taste like that's bad like it really hit you bad um yeah so i wasn't able to smell anything my cousin had donated uh money for my dad for <clears throat> medical bills because i have a gofundme page going on right now uh we're trying to hit our goal to don't hi merry christmas <laughs> happy holidays guys um i have i have candy and i have make my toy all right, guys. Um, go play. Give your card. Give your card. Uh -oh. So, anyways, yeah, I was. The reason why I said my cousin is because he just um donated some money to help my dad out with medical bills and treat uh, trips to go yes. his um radiation no. treatments at the um at the facility. So that will help with the gas, uh, making trips over there. So if you guys want to help out and donate to help support my dad in his journey to help pay his medical bills and um, trips to his to his um, radiation treatment facility, 
please yeah. do so down below. There are links in the description bar to, for you all to check out. Thank you, thank you too, guys. I love you guys. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so don't forget to look in the description bar for the yeah. description bar underneath below this video. There are links down below. Please check them out.